Welcome back to Sunrise. We're joined now by Brandon McLaren and Riley Lass from the Magnolia Independent Film Festival, which is coming up pretty soon. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good to see you both. Now, for those people out there who have never been to a film festival of any kind, Brandon, you want to explain kind of what people can expect other than maybe watching movies? Right. All right. So that's the key thing. You are watching that's a bunch good. of movies. Um, so it serves as, as has kind of um, competitive elements, but really, truly, it's a, a, an event or a festival where we're going to play a series of movies. So if you go as an attendee, you're going to watch a series of short films, films ranging from 7 to 15 minutes long. And then we're also going to be playing uh, feature films as well. Um, so as a moviegoer, you're going for that entertainment element. But what you get special, though, is that you also have filmmakers that attend, too. So it's kind of like going to the movies and then actually getting to meet the filmmaker after and ask questions. Um, so then if you're a filmmaker, you're, you're getting to go and promote your film and, and share your story. Yeah, absolutely. Such a unique experience, especially for around here. And these filmmakers, they come from all over? Yeah, so this year is, is really special. We've got films that are playing from all over the U.S. So we've got films that are coming from here in Mississippi, Louisiana, um, Los Angeles, um, but then we also have films that are playing from around the world even. Wow. So this year um, we're playing um, some films from Poland. We have a film that, that comes out of China. Um, we actually have 12 countries represented. That in is the so festival. cool. That's awesome. And Riley, I didn't realize that this has been going on for such a long time 23 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a tradition for a long time. Uh, it's been around the Golden Tri Triangle area for a while. Um, now it's housed in Starkville. Um, but we do want to pull from the entire Golden Triangle area. So everybody feel free to come to Starkville to see this festival. For sure. Brandon, do you feel like even if somebody isn't a big movie buff and maybe doesn't know a lot about the, the filmmaking process or these films, that they can still get something out of coming to something like this? Definitely. I, I think sometimes there's an image of a, a film festival being almost like a kind of a, a stuffy event um, but I, I would say our, our event is, is a very casual event anyone can go um, and our films range in, in genres so it's not like you're going to just see a bunch of human dramas you're going to see dramas you're going to see documentaries and we've got a couple of horror movies in there too <laughs> um, we've got a really wide variety that I, I think everybody's gonna find something that they like and in all of our blocks that we play has wide variety too. So it's not like you're gonna go and see one movie. You're gonna see a variety. Something for everybody. You wanna let people know when and where it's gonna be, how they get tickets, that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, so the festival is from Mar uh, excuse me, February 27th <laughs> through 29th. So again, it's February 27th to 29th. <laughs> um, the festival actually starts it's this Thursday at, at 7 p.m. is our first set of, of film blocks. But we play films through the entire weekend. Um, so you can go to our website, magnoliafilmfest.com. Um, there you can buy tickets, um, there you can see the complete lineup to see everything that we're playing, and you can also read all about the history of the festival as well. Very cool. It sounds like it's going to be a great event. Guys, thanks so much for being here this morning. We thanks for having us. us. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Anytime. I love talking about movies. <laughs>